Good day, ladies and gentlemen. About to weather here, tracking the progress of Hurricane Iota, a monstrous Category 5 hurricane. And based on the latest NOAA National Hurricane Center advisory, Iota is only about 30 to 35 miles off the coast of Nicaragua, uh, just east of the city of Puerto Cabezas. And it hones, as it hones in, and it's making uh, landfall tonight. Hurricane Iota made huge strides in strengthening overnight and based on the videos posted online of uh, thrashing um, palm trees and um, and uh, compromised seawalls um, the residents of uh, Nicaragua are going to be facing catastrophic um, situation tonight um, most of the videos that were coming in were from residents of the island of San Andres and we did see videos of uh, from people online who uh, from uh, were feeling the effects of Hurricane Iota as far away south as Colombia and um, the people of Nicaragua they're going to have a rough time tonight being battered by the catastrophic hurricane it is holding steady with a hurricane force winds of 160 miles per hour and some of the forecast models are showing a barometric pressure drop as low as 919 millibars, which just gives you an idea that it's actually still strengthening just before it actually makes full impact landfall um, on the east coast of Nicaragua. We've been talking about sea surface temperatures for the last few days in the Caribbean Sea and while the Gulf of Mexico 2 meters uh, forecast shows a cooling effect simply because North America is actually transitioning into a winter mode, um, the Gulf of Mexico has been cooling down. But we wish we could say the same thing for the Caribbean Sea. It is still pretty warm and if you can believe it, um, there is a low pressure zone um, just a few hundred miles uh, to the east east of uh, the current position of Hurricane Iota, which is showing signs of possible formation, 40% chance of formation into a tropical wave over the next few days. So even while Hurricane Iota is about to make landfall on the east coast of Nicaragua, there are signs that there's a, there's a system brewing uh, just to the east of, um, of, of its current position which is a little bit, uh, it's just hard to believe. Of course, we will continue to monitor all of the data coming in from the satellites to our weather center and keep you up to date. As always, please, please make sure to like and subscribe and share this video with friends and family and loved ones who maybe have been impacted in one way or another or perhaps indirectly by this powerful Category 5 hurricane system. As we get more information, we'll share it with you. And keep the please keep the people of Nicaragua in your thoughts overnight. The National Hurricane Center is expecting Iota to remain a, a very strong Category 5 hurricane when it approaches the coast of Nicaragua tonight. And the extreme winds and life-threatening storm surge will lead to flash flooding and major river flooding along the coast of Nicaragua tonight and into tomorrow morning. As it makes its way across the landmass of Nicaragua, it will have more of an effect on Honduras than it will have an effect on El Salvador and other nations in the area. So we do have to have the thoughts of, our, of the people in Central America wherever the hurricane warning is in full effect. Um, uh, heavy rainfall is expected throughout the region through Thursday of this week. Uh, flash flooding and river flooding associated with such a catastrophic um, Category 5 hurricane is going to be significant and tremendous on the people there. Iota is going to have a catastrophic impact on the people of Nicaragua. As a hurricane migrates inland, it will be met by hilly mountain terrain, which will help to kind of break it up a little bit. Uh, the highest peak in Nicaragua is Magatan, um, which is uh, 6,841 feet. The hurricane is going to bring significant rainfall to Honduras, El Salvador, and Nicaragua. As the hurricane travels over Nicaragua and Honduras, um, it will gravitate towards the mountainous region, um, the highest peak in Central America, which is uh, uh, Tajumolco, which is about 13,000 845 feet.
Nevertheless, the effects of Hurricane Ioga, uh, Iota will impact these nations. Even Belize will feel the effects um, as it migrates inland and southern Mexico, and the rainfall in this region um, will be significant for at least the next four days. Uh, based on the latest satellite imagery, we can take a look at the tightly, tightly packed eye of the hurricane as it's about 20 miles off the coast um, of Nicaragua and see the impact of the thunderstorm activity in the surrounding areas. As mentioned before, um, significant rainfall is being f uh, and thunderstorms are being uh, felt in a, as far south as uh, Colombia. And even the outer feeder band activity and the squalls are extending all the way up to southern Jamaica. So this is a very sizable system. It's a very powerful Category 5 hurricane uh, with uh, um, extending over a large land uh, square, square mileage area. Tonight will be a major test of strength for the wit and nerves uh, for the people of Central America and uh, nations in the uh, surrounding area and, and going forward to at least Friday and Saturday. Um, please subscribe, like, and share this video with friends, family who may be impacted by this storm so that we can all be a little bit safer tonight going into the rest of the week. And by all means, um, please uh, stay in touch with those who are affected um, by the, uh, that you know that are in the affected uh, zones of a hurricane warning of this hurricane and because it will affect um, the citizens of those uh, Central American countries for the, uh, until at least Friday with tremendous wind, rain, storm surge, and destructive hurricane forces. Uh, we will try to keep you informed of any changes in Hurricane Iota, and as always, remember to bow to weather and click the notification bell for future updates. 